it's Stephanie and Briley back again this week to show you all at home how to make this sofa or bedside laptop table. For today's project, we're going to be working with aluminum. Now at home, if you don't have an AC TIG welder or just prefer not to work with aluminum, you can swap this out for carbon steel or stainless steel. Uh, we're using three quarter by three quarter inch tubing and a piece of eighth inch uh, sheet. So I cut four 25 inch pieces, four 20 inch pieces with a 45 miter, four 12 inch pieces also with a 45 miter on it, and then just a 12 by 20 inch sheet for the top. Since I decided to go with aluminum for this project, um, this is actually going to be Briley's first time ever being introduced to TIG welding. So the way I'm going to go about this is I'm going to hold the torch and the filler wire and I will be controlling the amperage. Um, and this is going to be giving Briley a basic understanding of torch manipulation and angle and how filler wire is added to a weld pool. Now for the first step, we're going to be building the base. Uh, and this is going to be identical for what we're going to have to do for the top side of this table. So we're going to take two of our uh, 20 inch pieces and two of our 12 inch pieces and lay them out in a box. Now if you mitered the edges, this is going to be pretty much common sense with just lining it up um, and making sure you're using a square and some clamps to keep everything in position. Bradley did a really nice job. Um, again, this is her first time ever, so I think some of these welds came out pretty nice for her first time and me trying to uh, manipulate the torch for her and for her to get a feel of, of what TIG welding is all about. So I just helped my mom weld these two things up and I really like seeing the difference between MIG welding and TIG welding. Also, I really liked how the puddles were silver instead of red. My favorite thing was that there was no spatter. Now that everything is all welded up, it's time to clean up all the welds with the flapper wheel. And then once we get that done, we're gonna set in our 25 inch pieces for our height and get that all welded up. All the pieces are clean and sanded. Um, now we're going to attach the first two of our um, support legs here. Um, so you're going to square them up to so just pick a side, just make sure it's on the same side. Um, and just square them off, make sure they're all good to go, tack them in, um, and then weld them. put on. And then on this side. So when we go to tack these legs on, um, the first set, I did one corner at a time and then checked square every time I tacked. So make sure you're doing that. Um, what I did was I had Briley hold the square and hold the vertical piece um, at the same time when I tacked each spot and then we welded it out together. <laughs> before we go and put that last piece of quarter inch plate on for the top. We got all of our four legs welded in place. Uh, we took that piece of eighth inch, we placed it on top here, 
We've added a couple of clamps. I'm gonna get one in the front there. We're gonna stitch weld around this, not gonna weld the whole thing out. We're gonna focus on the centers and then wrapping the corners. Once it's all done, I'm gonna take the flapper wheel and sander again to all the outside welds that we can reach all the way around, smoothing out the corners of our top plate so it doesn't scratch or hurt anybody. Uh, and then we're ready for paint. sanding and grinding all the edges. We rounded off all the edges, make sure everything's smooth, no sharp edges, nobody's gonna get hurt on this. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice and light, so Briley's able to take it around the house from her bedroom to the living room so she can continue to do her schoolwork on it. It's a nice little laptop table. Um, and now we're getting ready to paint. Our laptop table is all painted, ready to go inside so Briley can get to work on her schoolwork. Um, this project didn't have the same amount of you know, real hands-on components to it, like some of the projects in the past, but this did give Briley a chance to be introduced to TIG welding, get her hands on a torch, and start learning a little bit about that process. Briley, what'd you think about it? Well, I really liked it. I feel like I learned a lot about the fabrication and stuff, and yeah. all about the uh, torch. Okay, awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one this week. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.